purchase your track today. Congratulations on your Flex Belt purchase. You are going to love this product and you're about to see why. The first time you try it, all you need to know is that it's working your abs and that you'll see results. Now we're gonna walk you through the simple setup process. This is a very simple process to set up the Flex Belt and it only takes a couple of minutes. But it's important to do it properly. Now inside your Flex Belt box is the belt itself, the Flex Power Controller Unit, which is also the computer that makes this medical grade technology work. Your medical grade Flex gel pads, a recharger, a carrying bag, and a detailed manual with instructions and tips for awesome results. Now first, make sure and plug in your Flex Power Control Unit so that it is fully charged. It should charge for at least an hour before you begin. Now let's get started on setting up your Flex Belt properly. Unfold your belt and place it on a flat surface with the side of the belt that has the three electrodes facing upwards. These three electrodes are where you will place each of the flex gel pads. The large square gel pad goes in the middle and the two oval shaped gel pads go on the outside of the belt. Now let's start placing them on your flex belt. We will begin with the center gel pad. The gel pads are like very thick double sided stickers. So to get them placed on your flex belt, peel off the side of the gel pad that has the square silver pattern on it. Please note that this side has two different plastic covers on it, so peel off both ends on this side, like so. Then place this gel pad directly in the white square outline on the belt with the middle electrode centered directly. Smooth it down firmly and evenly. You will no longer need the two halves of the plastic cover on this side, so you can throw these away. Please note that you will not remove the plastic cover on the other side of the gel pad at this time. Now we will do the side gel pads. You will notice that the sides have three different lines next to them. These are there for you to use as a guide for where you should place them. If you are a smaller person with a waist size of 24 to 31 inches, you should place the tip of the gel pad just over the first line. If you are a medium sized person with a waist size of 32 to 40 inches, it should be placed just over the second line. And if you are a larger person with a waist size of 41 to 47 inches, it should be just over the third. The reason for these placement guidelines is because the side gel pads are supposed to lay over your obliques. 
So just like with the center gel pad, remove each side of the plastic cover on the side of the gel pad that has the square silver pattern on it. Again, you can throw these two halves away. Now place the gel pad on the line that you feel fits your body type most. And no matter what placement you choose, the gel pad should be covering the side electrodes. Now your flex belt is officially set up and we are ready to get started on your first toning session. First is to get the flex belt placed on your body properly. Make sure you can easily get to your stomach without anything getting in your way. So either take off your shirt or just pull it up out of your way. The flex belt will only work when placed directly on your skin. It cannot be over any clothing. Now you remove the plastic cover on the side of each of the three gel pads facing up. This side only has one plastic cover per gel pad. Now make sure and save these as you will need them once you are done with each flex belt toning session. Now start by placing the center gel pad first. Place the center electrode under the gel pad directly over your belly button or as close to it as you can. Next is to place each of the oblique pads on your body. Do one at a time. Now stretch out the side of the belt so that it will lay completely flush against your body. Make sure and place the pad high enough to be over your oblique and not touching your hip bone at all. Then do the other side the exact same way. Now wrap the back of the belt around your waist and Velcro it so it is very snug against your body. This helps the electrodes to emit their signals through the gel pads as efficiently as possible. Now go ahead and rub the belt where each gel pad is very thoroughly so that the pads are as flush against your skin as they can be. Now that your flex belt is on, it's time to plug it into the flex power controller unit by clipping it in and making sure it locks in. Now turn on the belt by holding down the left button until you hear it turn on. Now you are ready to select your program with the button on your right. You can scroll through the different programs by pressing the button. There are 10 plateau busting programs so you can always keep advancing. Since this is your first time using the flex belt, let's start with program number one. For details on the other programs, watch the video on this page called the programs and training tips. All you need to do to start using the program you've selected, in this case number one, is increase the intensity of the flex belt using the intensity buttons. Please note that there are two buttons, one that powers the left side and one that powers the right side. Make sure and increase them both at the same time, like so. The intensity goes from one to 150. I'm gonna recommend that you go ahead and kick the intensity right up to level 20 on each side and see how that feels. At lower intensities, what you should expect is a mild tingling sensation and maybe a slight contraction. But what you're after is a deep contraction that flexes all of your stomach muscles at the same time. So now keep adjusting the intensity up on each side until you feel a contraction and not just some tingling. Now, once you find that level of intensity that gives you a contraction, wait a minute or so and get used to it. Then, as you feel comfortable, continue to increase the intensity to higher levels so you can get the most out of your flex belt toning session. Now, you can watch your contractions on your flex power control unit screen. When a contraction ramps up, it holds for a couple seconds and then it dissipates smoothly. Then it rests for a few seconds and starts to ramp back up again. Now, what you'll find is that after a few minutes at a higher intensity that you get used to the contraction and are able to increase it more. Now, obviously, everyone is different and will find the pattern that is best for them. A helpful tip though is that most people can get up to at least level 40 by the end of their first training session. For more information about achieving results, watch the video on this page called the Programs and Training Tips. Now enjoy your flex belt session. You can tuck the flex power control unit into the little side pouch on the belt and do other things while your abs get their workout. You can cook in the kitchen, catch up on work, talk on the phone, lay by the pool, get ready in the morning, just about anything. The Flex Power Controller Unit will count down the time of your program sessions. When the program is done, it will beep to notify you that it's all over. And once the program is done, you simply need to remove the belt, lay it down on the flat surface with the gel pads facing up. Don't worry about turning off the power control unit. It will do that automatically after a minute. Now take the plastic covers and place them back on each of the gel pads to keep them protected clean and safe. Then fold your flex belt up and place it in its carrying bag. 
congratulations on your first flex belt toning session. Now make sure and fit the flex belt into your lifestyle as you can. All you need to do is remember to use it about five days a week when you're doing the same things you always do and can fit it in. And if for any reason you had any issues with your flex belt toning session, which are not common, be sure and check out the video on this page called Trouble Solving. Thank you and enjoy the flex belt. You're going to love it.